what really changes the game is in your head. I can't wait to go right. I don't want to get out there and have an adventure of a lifetime. I cannot imagine ever stopping learning and pushing myself because satisfaction is short-lived. Becoming part of the GS community has really changed my life. Um, I'm always working harder to improve myself and to keep inspiring others. I even met my boyfriend Vincent on the One World One R1200 GS tour. Looking back to this trip, it was really a life-changing experience. It led to so many other adventures and I'm always curious to know where the GS story will go. Hi, my name is Stephanie and today we're going to take a special look on bikes that changed the lives of many and revolutionised an entire industry. BMW Motorrad have invited us to try some bikes. What better place than the Enduro Park in Hechlin? So come on, let's meet the others. Hey! Hey! Steph, how are you doing? Good, what have we got here? That's a new lineup, right? They're gorgeous. I think even the others are coming now. Hey, hey guys! Hey, hey guys! How are you doing, Damia? Good I'm ride. good, I'm good. Andy travelled the world, doing a marathon on each continent. He told me so many stories and there are countless more. Also, he knows the GS community inside out. I've been really lucky to travel the world on a GS. I don't like giving out advice, but the best I can give is don't rush. Take your time, there's a lot to see out there. What a blast from the past, huh? Yeah, Look. tough call. Okay, okay. Same style, huh? <laughs> what a mess. I guess you know Manfred already. He works as an instructor here in Hechlingen, and he gives every visitor a unique experience. If you have a problem with a damaged valve cover, I can fix it with bread. <laughs> it's true. Damien, part of the brand experience team of BMW Motorrad. I first met him during the GS Trophy 2018 in Mongolia and I know he's always in for a thrill. We're at a giant GS playground here, so yeah, I can't wait to go ride. And finally, Christian, the head of BMW Motorrad Product Management, one of the founding fathers, and for many years, a driving force of the GS Trophy. Not talk so much, but go for the ride. Sounds yeah, good, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Got some nice gadgets that are more state of the art today. We have like a new integral ABS Pro on all the bikes, suitable also for curb braking. New adaptive headlight, USB connector, for example. Okay. New hill start control system. It's really refined, so it works perfect also in off-road conditions now. And people have been asking for these bikes on social media. Oh, they've been waiting. <laughs> On the one hand, we wanted to have an homage to the past with the R to the R80 GS, but on the other hand, of course, it's uh, to adapt the bike for today's needs. It's a hard job because how do you make an ICAM even more perfect? So, not easy. That looks quite imposing, now, doesn't it? With the, uh, with the adventure? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. You've been here before, Andy? No, this is my first time. Yeah, same. Yeah. You haven't been here before? No, no. at all? No. no. Okay. This was the first uh, Enduro Park, BMW Enduro Park, and we now have almost uh, 20 in the yeah. world. This is where it all started. Exactly, yeah. GS is a shame. <laughs> Yeah, why not? You can find so many different terrains here. Um, you can go from trails like these through the woods, uh, gravel roads, uh, dirt roads, uh, and even awesome. It's a bit of a surprise the first time. <laughs> we actually met uh, on the uh, GS Trophy in Mongolia in 2018. Yeah, I remember yeah. you holding the big yeah. 
starting flag. <laughs> I practiced here before going to Mongolia and that did help a lot. Sauber! Oh, cool. oh, that's another oh, new bike. Look at this. Yes, right. What's different? Nice color, new red frame. We've got the new LED headlight. Yeah. As well as adjustable brake levers. So should be riding fine. I like it. It's very easy to handle. So it's perfect entry for me in the off-road world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is where it all starts in this big area here, yeah. Manfred. This is we we target. It's a beginner course. We start on the flat ground. It's an easy way, and then step by step a little bit more. Practice. I think Damien wants to go practice the sand. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> sand. Uh, I can see it in your eyes. Looking forward to that. Let's do it. Training is really important for an adventure. You cannot influence how other people get on the road. Training is the only thing that you can do to become a better motorcycle rider. It's going to improve your safety when riding on the road. I'm not very big or strong, so I have to ride cleanly. But I'm the proof, if I can do it, anyone can. The GS isn't just a bike, it's an attitude. What really changes the game is in your head. It's an idea, it's that little seed that plants in your brain, that dream, that goal to chase for. If you want something, you go out there and you get it. As soon as I got the idea in my head, I couldn't shake it off. I knew my life was never going to be the same again. There was too much fun to be had. And I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in an office. So I wanted to get out there and have an adventure of a lifetime. As a journalist, I needed to be authentic. How could I get out there and inspire others if I hadn't had these experiences myself already? Oh, here we go. Sparks. Beautiful. Here's a great riding day. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. A couple of years ago, I did a, so I did a cross the Pyrenees off-road with the GS, oh. and then I rode down to Portugal with nice twisty roads and then I had to get back from Portugal to Paris in two days. <laughs> so, so quite, what other bike could you go off-road, have an amazing time on-road and then wow. eat up the miles? I think important to remember you don't have to go to the other side of the world, do you, to have an adventure. You know, you just literally need to make a decision, plan a destination. It can be even just for a couple of days. The important thing is to just pack your bike up, get on it and go. GS really made BMW 2 what it is today. I'm very sure that we wouldn't be here uh, without the GS. 40 years later. 40 years later. When me and my boyfriend Vincent were traveling in Japan, I met a lady who wanted to search for something new in her life, and she came across a video of me on the GS, and that led to her own GS adventure around the corner. Stories like this inspire me to keep going and keep pushing, always be the best that I can be.